So right now I'm in Bollinger Canyon. It's uh, in the hills above San Ramon or on the backside of San Ramon. And uh, it's kind of fun to explore places like this when I go to Oakland A's games. I have time to kill during the daytime like this, so I get to explore different areas that I've never been to, even though I'm from Northern California. There's a lot of areas around the Bay Area, or a lot of places around the Bay Area that I've never been to, I've never really explored. And uh, when I come out to watch a series of Oakland A's baseball games, then I get a chance to explore them. A lot of my friends and family, they don't really understand uh, the way I go to Oakland A's baseball games. When I go to Oakland A's baseball games, I like to pick certain teams to go watch, and I'll watch all three games each day in a row, and it costs too much money and gas to drive back and forth from my house to uh, watch all three games in a row. Like, for example, I'm watching the New York Yankees play the Oakland A's right now, and I watch all three games in a row. And I save money on a hotel room by stealth camping, and I also save money on gas and driving back and forth because I live about 100 miles away from the Oakland Coliseum. Another team that I like to watch all three games in a row, the series, is the Boston Red Sox. I will come out here and watch the Boston Red Sox all three games in a row. And then also the San Francisco Giants, when they play in Oakland, I'll watch all three games in a row. And then also, whoever won the World Series or played in the World Series, for example, this last year was the Houston Astros. So I will come out here and I'll watch all three games of the series of the Houston Astros in a row. And uh, like I said, a lot of my friends and family, they don't really understand um, why I sleep in a van to come out here. Uh, most of my friends and family, they just watch one game and then they go home. Now, I like to watch all three games in a row, and it's really expensive to get a hotel room for two nights to watch all three games in a row. Um, hopefully, you know, all my friends and family try to understand, you know, I'm not trying to act like a homeless person or something. I just want to save money on a hotel room, and I want to save money on gas. So that's why I still camp in my van when I go watch baseball games. My name is Doug. I'm a retired school teacher. I built that camper van out of an old service van. I will take you with me camping, fishing, going to the beach, going to baseball games. I'm going to teach you how to save some money. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Holiday 10. Now that's a camping rig. Those vans are cool, but they're really expensive. Some of those vans, they cost like a hundred grand. My van, old service van, I probably got maybe 10,000 into it. Maybe a little less, not sure. dogs from home. I got the stove set up in the back door of my van. Doors are open. So I'm at San Ramon Central Park and uh, I'm gonna cook myself some hot dogs for lunch before I head over to the Oakland Coliseum. Now, a lot of my videos, or most all of my videos, I always say that I never cook in the van because I don't like the van smell, or I mean the cooking smells in the van. But sometimes, on occasion, when I'm in public or park like this, I will cook right out in the back door of my van. The doors are all open, so all the smells and everything, they go out the door. They're not in the van, so sometimes I do cook 
right here in the back of my van. And we're cooking. Got my buns, mustard, plate, paper towels, and fire extinguisher right there ready to go. Now I could cook a big gourmet meal like you see on all those other van channels, but that would be a lot of work. And I don't like to do a lot of work. I'm retired. I don't work anymore. You know, I could make a big gourmet meal, but keep it simple. Hot dogs. This is about as much work as I like to do when I cook in my van. That's it, one pan, paper towel, some water, wipe it out, ready to go for the next time. Well, that's it. Lunch slash dinner is over. I guess you call that Leonard. Uh, I'm gonna leave San Ramon. Uh, this is San Ramon Central Park. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna head towards the Oakland Coliseum. I'm gonna watch the Oakland A's play the New York Yankees for the second night in a row. Go A's. Right now, I'm at the Oakland airport. There's something called Park and Call. It's a free parking place. You can park here for up to an hour. The idea is you call somebody when they get off their airplane and then you can go pick them up at the terminal. I come here a lot of times when I'm early. The gates aren't open at the Oakland Coliseum yet. So what I do is I sit here at the parking call for a little while until the gates open at the Coliseum and then I go to the game. don't really know the legalities of having a beer in the parking call, but I'm going to have a beer. Cheers. I'm down behind home plate today. I'm making my way there right now. Got my hot dog, my beer, and my peanuts. I'm right behind home plate. at the airport parking call they got some restrooms over here with a wash station listening to the end of the game the Yankees are beating the A's 11 to nothing and I'm getting ready to go to San Ramon okay stealth campers I say that because that's got to be the only people really interested in some of the things I post about stealth camping so I'm at the parking call at the Oakland Airport I only stayed here about 10-15 minutes, enough to use the restroom and listen to the end of the A's game. Now I'm headed to San Ramon, and that's where I'm planning to uh, park and sleep in a parking lot tonight. I plan to stealth camp in San Ramon. So that's where I'm headed. Probably will stay at the same place I stayed last night. Um, maybe, maybe not. We'll see when I get there.
So I've never stealth camped at the airport parking lot for the night. I've always wanted to try it. I saw a guy on YouTube named uh, Steve Wallace camping with Steve. He did it. He stealth camped at the airport. Um, I don't know the legality of that. Someday after an Oakland A's game, when I want to stay the night, I might try camping, stealth camping in the uh, airport parking lot. Of course, I'd have to pay for that parking lot, but um, it seems like it would be a safe place. Not really sure. So maybe someday I'll try that. If anybody has uh, stayed the night and tried that in an airport parking lot, leave me some comments below. I want to know what it is and what it's like to uh, stealth camp in an airport parking lot.